In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a Flutter package YouTube Player Flutter. This is the simple app we're going to build today where we can play any YouTube video we want. So if I press on the play button here it's gonna play this video here and you can also make it full screen and of course jump through the sections here. Let's get started. As mentioned we're going to use a Flutter package YouTube Player Flutter. Just press on here to copy it to your clipboard then in your pubspec.yaml file underneath your dependencies just paste it in here and run pubget. There's another setup step we still need to do for Android. For that go under your Android folder and then open up local.properties and in here we have to define the min SDK version which should be at least 20 and then under your Android folder under app open up the build.gradle file and in here you would have the line min sdk version flutter dot min sdk version you have to replace this with this line here where we load the min sdk version from our local properties we just defined here that's all we need to do for the setup now concerning the app itself i simply build a very simple flutter app where we have a scaffold the scaffold has an app bar and a body and this body contains our youtube player for this of course make sure to import the youtube player flutter package then we need to define our controller for our youtube player then within our init state we initialize this controller with youtube player controller give this the initial video ID so usually the URL to the YouTube video would be youtube.com slash watch question mark v equals and then this video ID this is what you should put in here into the initial video ID parameter then you can define different flags here so for example whether the video should autoplay whether it should be muted and whether it's a live video so if it's a live video the UI will look a bit different then within our build function if you want the player to also be shown in full screen then you have to wrap your scaffold with the YouTube player builder then this YouTube player builder here you can define the parameter player which is the YouTube player where you pass in your controller which we defined earlier then when the video is loading you can define whether it should show the indicator that it's loading then you can change the color of this indicator then you can also define the color of the progress bar so if you see this as you can see here it's an amber and then within the builder parameter you simply return the scaffold and again we simply have an app bar and here in the body we simply pass through this player and this is simply this here i hope you like this tutorial please leave a like and subscribe if you have any questions feel free to ask them down below in the comments and thank you for watching